What's up? Welcome to the, the first ever Beam Stream coming to you live hot. I am your host, Yematron. Thank you for joining. Thank you for being here. And if you are with us today at today's Beam Stream, you have signed up for the very fun, the very futuristic Future Human Beam Center Live Summer Program. So welcome all counselors, all students, all specialists to the inaugural Beam stream. Get some lightning or something, or like a, something going on. Um, I'll be your host every Monday. I am a big goof. I like to joke around, but I also like to build really techy stuff. And the reason why you have Beam Stream here is to be kind of the human component of this online kind of world we live in today. So Mondays um, and Wednesdays, you can tune in from one to one thirty. Every Monday, I'll be here, Yamatron. And on Wednesdays, we'll have Beam Inspiration Station with our host, Kayla, featuring really dope guest specialists to show you how to really jazz up your wearables, your badge, your journals, and just they're going to be gonna come and not, they're gonna come on here and just show you how to like prototype stuff. So pretty much, this will act as a guide um, this week uh, to do one of four things. It's going to help you uh, visit the beamcenter.org Future Humans website if you haven't already. Sign up for our Rocket Chat, which is very, very, very important. You have to make sure you sign up for our Rocket Chat. And we're going to go through the Getting Started slides and the What's in the Box slides. And we're also going to show you today some week uh, one prototypes of, you know, we're going to just feature different prototypes of our different specialists and just show you different ideas um, if you already haven't started on your week one uh, prototypes. But you want to make sure to follow along on the website if you can as you watch this stream because going into week one there are a lot of program intros and getting started slides that are very important for you to read it talks about two safety and guidelines how to set up your workspace if you're working from home or if you're working at a center just you know giving you little tips and tricks and all that type of stuff so you kind of have to go through the house rules there read most of those slides and then you know come back on the beam stream and make sure that you have all of that read because there's a lot of important tools, tips, and tricks for you to get started. Okay? And also, if you haven't already, I'll repeat, sign up for Rocket Chat. Cool. So, once you have done that, once you've gone through the slides, you've signed up for Rocket Chat, you've done all the, you know, you dotted the I's, crossed the T's, uh, we're going to open up the box. We're going to go through the getting started what's in the box if you haven't already you guys watch unboxing stuff i love watching people unbox stuff it's just it's like watching cake get yeah i love cake so it's like watching it get made is just like what he's gonna i'm gonna eat it i'm hungry now this is this is an unboxing if you haven't already unboxed it you can follow along but if you already dived in and started making stuff that's cool too that's cool too so by now you have gotten your future humans box and we're gonna just open and see what's in the box right now let's just Get this going. Alright. Got some nice orange beam tape here. Alright. Well, not the sharpest of scissors, but we do what we can. Alright. So, once you're. Alright. Once you have opened your box, you will see there's two distinct. I'll just move this out the way. There's two distinct boxes. One's going to be your craft materials box, which is going to have all, let's open it up and just see what you, it's going to have all your craft material needs. It should have a glue gun, it should have some popsicle sticks, it should have scissors, these are called brads, these are really good for clasping things together. Also, it's really cool for making circuits. Uh, we should have some glue sticks, we should have some measurement tape, a pencil, a ruler, uh, rubber bands, not to make rubber band guns. 
uh, Chopinat, if you can see here, a little green, greeny mini, as I like to call it, and a hole punch, and glue sticks, of course, and I don't know what these are called, I call them red tubies, uh, I have no idea what these are called, if I'm being quite honest, red, the red little mini tubes, red, red mini tubes, right, <laughs> little, little, red. these are really great for doing whatever, for decorating, for creating really cool structures, so you should have some of these red mini tubes. Um, and that's about it. That should be in your craft box. Now, in the case there was some human error and we we biffed it and we missed something, make sure you go to Rocket Chat and you contact us and we'll let you know, um, you know, like if something is missing or not working, just contact us at Rocket Chat, which is kind of our tech support for this program, and let us know, like, hey, man, where's my glue gun? Or my glue gun doesn't work. Or I don't have any red tubes. Or I don't have any brass. Any brass. Um, so, yeah. That should be in your craft box. Now, the real good stuff, right? The circuit, the electricity. Oh. Awesome stuff. All right, so in your circuit box, you know, we have wire, right? You should have your battery terminal. You should have your piezo and your servo mo motor that's this blue thing here i don't know if you guys can see it here you should have your little led lights your connectors you should have a breadboard in there too many breads these are called breadboards don't eat them do not eat them it's not real bread all right and of course the the uh i would say this is the most imperative thing of the program it's going to be your brain AKA your your Arduino, your brain Duino, as I like to call it. So you have to make sure you have this brain Duino because this is actually going to program your circuitry and your badge and your wearable. Make sure you have that. You should have a fresh pack of AA batteries. This is a speaker. You should have a speaker in there. Very cool tool. This is called a wire stripper. You want to make sure you have that wire stripper in there. And uh, I believe that's it. Um, that should be in your circuit board. Now, what I forgot to mention, and then I, I didn't show earlier, is that there should be a checkoff list in the box, and you want to make sure that you, as you go through your box, you check off everything on the checkout list. Um, uh, I don't know where it went. Mine's was misplaced somewhere, but you should have that on there. Okay? So that is going through the box of the two mini boxes in the box. Now we're going to go through the materials in the box and stuff that you should, you should have some, I'm gonna go through some more stuff. You should have some, uh, oh, hey, what's going on? Fireball cat in the back. We should have some um, cellophane. We have some really cool, I believe it's called Mylar. Really cool, this is really cool to dress up your wearables and stuff. Also in the box, we have a bunch of, all right, it's kind of hard to get out of there. Come on, get out of there. There we go. <laughs> we should have some chipboard. Now, chipboard is a very versatile construction material to make your wearables. It's, it's, it's also really, what's really cool about chipboard is you can dress it up as far as like, it's really easy to glue on. And you can also just draw on it if, when you have, if you have markers at home. This is really cool to draw on to make your wearables. And it's very flexible, deforms to the skin. It really holds well with glue um, or staples. So this is a really cool material. Ah, here it is. This is what I was talking about. Voila. Like I was, like I uh, mentioned earlier, as you go through your checklist, you want to literally check it off and make sure you have each and everything on the two, the circuit box, and the one, the paper box. All this you want to check off. Um, and it should be also in your Future Humans inventory kit. So this is the list that I was talking about, and you should also have that. So we have our, we also have tin foil here. You might have like extra rolls, you know, in the kitchen if your mom's cooking up some, you know, some barbecue, you know, making a casserole. But also, you can use it to make some really cool stuff, you know. I love this stuff, man. If you want to make your stuff look futuristic and like, I'm a cyborg, tin foil is the best. Reynolds wrap, baby. Call it Reynolds because it's a wrap. All right, that's enough of that. Uh, 
We have uh, white pieces of paper for your journal, construction paper, different colors. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is a tech tip from your boy Yematron. So, if you're building stuff and you're like, I don't like any of these materials, or I do like some of the materials, what's interesting about this program is you can use salvage old stuff around your house. Uh, you can use egg cartons. You can use paper paper rolls from like those paper tubes, like from the toilet paper or uh, paper towels, uh, cardboard from Amazon shipping or from even, you can even use cereal box uh, paper because that's, that's kind of like chipboard as well. So you can salvage through your house like for old materials and repurpose or as they call it, upcycle it to use for your wearables. So you know, sky is the limit and your imagination is your, you know, your wheelhouse. So like as far as your, like, like this guy, this guy, you see, you see Squirtle, he got glasses on, he's a Pokemon, he doesn't care, he's an imaginative creature, but he's real now, he's walking and he's strutting, going to the beach. Because <laughs> it's very hot, it's very hot. Um, stay hydrated, it's very hot today. So that's it for what's in the box. Again, I'll reiterate, if you have any trouble or if you have anything that's missing, please hit us up on the Rocket Chat, which is on our website, on um, Beamstream backslash Future Humans. All right. I'm just going to move some of this stuff out the way. Coolio. It's a lot of stuff. I don't want to make a mess. And we'll just put this to the side here. Okay. Now that we went through the box... Du, 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 du. Okay, so what are we doing this week? Let's check in and see what we're doing this week. As you can see on week one, oh, now this is what we're doing this week. Excuse me. Week one, we will be going through our journal and sensor badge. This is what week one should look like. And by no means does this mean like, oh, I didn't finish Yamatron. Does that mean I'm a, I'm not good? No, that's not what it means. It just means like this is what week one looks like, and this is how we kind of want you to work flow this is kind of like how we want you to work through the week start with your journal um and the reason why we want to start with the journal this is this was done by one of our dope 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 program uh specialists uh shout out to tim fife um and this is is his journal as you can see he designed it there's a diamond he, he has a really cool hot pink design kind of color palette going on um, and this is his journal, so feel free to go wild with uh, making your journal very personal, uh, very personal to you. And as you can see here, he has his map. So this is uh, the Make Your Journal Week One project. He has a map here, as you guys can see. Sorry, it's probably getting keyed out because of the green screen. If you can cut to the overhead, maybe that'll be a little bit better, so people can see. Uh, so yeah, as you can see here, he has a mission start going here. And it goes all the way down to Deep Space Pod. And as you can see, he has even lore. He has lore and a story in his, pro, uh, in his, in his journal. Uh, he has some prototype sketches here, as you can see, of how his, his uh, sonic visor looks, which is, I believe, week two. Um, he has Zone 3, Decoy. He has Zone 3, Decoy... Uh, Decoy Dells. I don't know what that means, but he has a zone three. Uh, and as you can see, there's just a bunch. He, he's This is very elaborate, what he has here. He has a sensor badge, kind of prototype drawing and sketch. And one thing we, we like to, we, we kind of like to echo here at Beam is, before you start building anything, we like to have you draw in your journal a rough sketch of what you're going to do. Just take the time to draw like how you want it to look before you just go in building it. Now, by, by no means does this mean like you have to work this way, but we really, really, really suggest you start sketching out how you want your wearable to look and feel and your badge before you start building it. So as you can see here, he, he wow, it goes really in depth uh, of how he, you know, sketched out, you know, where his wires are going to be, where the rock is going to be, how he has the diamond here. He has everything like sketched out, very down to like, you know, the, the most minuscule detail. So we really suggest you do that for your week one because you're going to be building throughout this whole project. So don't feel like you're not going to have enough time to build, but really thinking about a future human idea, right? Like where, where is this future human? Like, is it, is it, is it a space with like 
low gravity? Is it a space that's really dark and dusty? Do they need like reflective light? Do they live, you know, on the moon and they just need everything to be reflective? Really think about like the details of your future human. Put yourself like maybe 50 or 100 or 2,000 years in the future. What is that future human doing? Like what kind of tools will they need? Do we even need language? Do we just talk through like beeps and stuff? Like really go wild because the future, you know, the future, the future is nigh. The future is nigh and I am sweating. Whew. Uh, you know what I see in my future? <laughs> Some iced coffee, am I right? Cold brew. I don't know. Kids can't drink coffee. All right. That's enough of that. So anyway, <laughs> that is the journal. That is the journal prototype. And uh, it's really, thank you, Tim, for letting us use this. It's really cool. So, you know, go wild with it. We're really excited to see you guys post on Rocket Chat your, your journals. Now, for the meat and potatoes, that's week one. And also week two, if we can go back to the website real cool. We'll, after week uh, making your journal, you'll also be looking at the slides for making your bad circuit, which is pretty much... I would say the heart of this whole project is the uh, badge circuit because everything is connected to the this badge. And the badge circuit tells a lot about your future human, you know, and is the genesis or AKA the beginning of your story. So this badge journal was made by another dope project design specialist. Here we have a uh, shout out Abib for making this journal. I'm sorry, this badge. And as you can see here, it's very reflective and it's very stylized. And as you can see, this is a completed project. I'm just gonna take off my hat and try to dress myself in his wearable. I have a very big head, so I'm sorry if I mess this up. Oh boy. Oh, all right, we're gonna stick in. Oh boy, don't laugh at me. All right, there we go. Yeah. Oh boy, how do you? Jesus, all right. Okay, look at that. I am on TV. Hi, Mom. <laughs> She's not watching this, I'm just joking. All right, so as you can see, this is a prototype of his badge and his sonic visor and his arm, uh, his arm wearable. Oh, we're missing a brad here. So this is just a, an example of, whoop, this is just an example of how your project can start coming together. And uh, I don't know the story of this, but th this fits me. So as you can see, he's thought about maybe someone else wearing it. And besides the sonic visor, which is a little bit tight, this is not made for me. And all right, I'm going to take this off because I don't want to break it. I'll just take this whole thing off because I think you guys get the gist of it. Um, we could switch to the overhead view, just to get a little bit more of a design uh, point of view. Sorry. Oh boy. All right. So as you can see here, this badge is it's it's very um. It's the design is very beautiful. It, it uses the mylar, it uses the construction paper, it uses the vellum paper. You see the blinking light inside, and he's also allocated room for the wires to go to the different wearables as you can see here and once you start building on this you'll see tips and tricks on how to twist the wire to make it a little bit more uniformed and as you can see here he has this really cool visor you know like this is really really dope like look at the design look how clean it is look how deliberate his design is and as you can see here as a designer he put his photo sensor this is a photo sensor here, this little this little guy here, I don't know if you guys can see it, right on the side. So maybe his future, maybe his future human, you know, needs some extra, you know, once it gets dark, he needs some extra light. So he puts his photo sensor right next to his, his eye. So maybe his future humans need, you know, more, you know, more eyesight for whatever reason. And as you can see here, he also has his speaker set up. So maybe his future human also needs extra sight and extra sound. Maybe they're like, you know, some type of monsters in his world, you know? So this was, uh, this is what you'll be building this week. Exciting, right? You'll be building your, your, your journal and your sensor badge. And that's, that's a great week for me. Um, so you'll be busy build, uh, building that stuff. And, uh, I believe that is it as far as the beam stream is concerned. Again, make sure you sign up to the website. 
the Rocket Chat, and we'll be here Monday and Wednesdays, uh, one to one thirty. Yes. So, cool. We have some questions in the chat. Whoo! All right. First question up is. Oh yeah, and every uh, like around like uh, ten minutes in, we'll always open up the chat so I can answer your questions. So let's see. Can my pets and humans eat the breadboards? Um, it's not. I, I think I said this in jest as a joke. But no, don't. They're not. It's not bread. It's 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 circuitry. I am not saying eat the breadboard. Do not eat the breadboard. I don't know if this was a serious question from a person. Just because it's bread doesn't mean you should eat it, all right? So don't eat the bread, all right? Please and thank you. All right, next question. Can we make whatever we want with the materials? Absolutely. If it's legal, right? We're talking about legal. Yeah, if it's, you can make whatever. All right, I'll say this. Don't, we don't really want to say like make this, right? But this is more of a, this is more of a, a sand a sandbox of materials that you can really create to make whatever you want to make. We try to stray away from making weapons or something that can maim people, obviously. So we, I will say don't make anything that looks or like resembles weapons. That's what, what I'll say on Beam's behalf. We try to make things that help people. So we're thinking about future humans, how to help future humans like make really cool, dope stuff and how to assist like with the human race. So yeah, feel free to make whatever you want, man. Sky is the limit. Use your imagination to your content. So, like, yeah, make whatever you want. Absolutely. Really good question. I, all right, next question. Or is this more of a statement? I didn't get an Android. We should take care of this one in Rocket. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Uh, this, is, this is a learning moment for everyone involved. So, if you did not get an Android, uh, uh, not an Android, an Arduino. What am I saying? An Android? If you didn't get an Arduino... Um, hit us up in Rocket Chat, and we will sort that out and get a uh, Arduino to you post haste. So again, this is why we have the stream here. This is why I'm here every Monday just to go through your questions because there's no stupid questions, right? Just like ask me whatever you want to ask me, and I'm here to to help. So yo, if you didn't get an Arduino, please uh, see sign up for Rocket Chat and talk to one of our counselors and specialists, and we'll get that to you post haste. Okay? Coolio. Um. Any other questions? Uh, can you sc scroll? All right. What's the Arduino for? Oh, the Arduino. Okay. So the Arduino is a mini computer. So it is literally made to make and code whatever you put into it. You want it to play, you know, the Ghostbusters theme when someone touches a, a piezo or, or, or a photo sensor, you can code it for that. You know, when there's something strange in the neighborhood, who are you going to call? Beam Stream. I know that's not the song. Please don't sue YouTube for me singing the song. But <laughs> the Arduino is a mini computer uh, that is it that can code things. It, it can't hold too much code, but it's it's literally like a mini computer that is used for like making really cool uh, wearables or um, you can make music with it. You can connect it to a Raspberry Pi. It has like so many usages, but in this context, we're using it to um, uh, code a photo sensor, a piezo, and I believe a touch sensor. So that's what we're using it for. Yeah, here's, uh, this is what it is, all right? We got the little Arduino Uno. Um, and this is one type of Arduino. There's definitely different type of brands for Arduinos, okay? So it's a mini con computer. Here we go, all right? We got the overhead. And um, as you can see here, I'm not, I don't want to get too much into this, but it has a digital and a, uh, has a digital input and an analog input. Digital input is just more of a wave and analog is like off and on, like a switch. I don't want to get too deep into like what this does because it gets really intricate and really uh, complex. But it's pretty much think of it as a mini computer, right? If you have a if you have a switch, it has a mini computer. Every anything like usually digital that is coded has a mini computer. Maybe not an Arduino, but definitely has a mini CPU in it. All right? Cool. Next question. Got five minutes. Can I make a lightsaber? Hmm. 
That's more of a question on whoever asked that question. Can you? Do you have it in you to make... Is the force strong within you to make a lightsaber, young Padawan? I have no idea. Yeah, sure, you can make a lightsaber. If you feel you are in some type of... Uh, I was about to say Star Trek. <laughs> Star Wars, right? That's where lightsabers are from. If, you're, like, if your whole lore and your whole map and your whole future human is, you know, uh, what is it, a Jedi? You know, yeah, you know, start cutting it up with the lightsaber. Uh, uh, if that helps... It is a weapon, though, right? But, you know, like, if you're into Star Wars, I get it. I'm a big nerd. I'm into anime, too. Make your make your lightsaber. I, I would love to see a lightsaber being incorporated into your badge somehow. That would be really, really cool. Um, so, yeah, you can make a lightsaber. You would probably need to make a frame for it, like, using the, using the um, shipboard, make a frame for it, and then use the vellum to kind of wrap around and put putting the light source in it in a way where it, like, actually lights up. So I would love to see you do that, um, person, um, young person, young student. Okay, we have four more minutes. Oh, this is a really good logistical question that I'm not sure. I, I see, do we have to return all the things? Yes, we need it all back. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if you're like, please return all the material. <laughs> this is a joke more for me. No, you don't, obviously, no. This is for yours to keep. This is... Your, this is your box. Yeah, I know. Like, way to go, Beam. Like, this, all, this, all these materials are for you to keep and to cherish throughout your entire life and to show your kids and your kids show your grandkids. I remember 2020 when we couldn't leave the house and I made a future human. You know, I don't know if you'll sound like that when you're old. I hope so because it would be hilarious, but you can keep these things. Absolutely. Yeah. Can you hold up the zip ties? No? Don't do that. Uh, is that... Is someone getting... Is, am I getting punked? Why would you... All right. Okay. These are not the right zip ties. Uh, we're going to move on. Um, uh, someone asked me to hold up the zip ties. I'm just going to do it. I don't know. If it's, I don't know. Here, here, here we go. Here are the zip ties, everybody. It was in the chat. I don't. Someone's like, can you just for your own? Here you go. I did it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, we got two more minutes. Um, this is a really good question, and I think I'll stop uh, after this question before it gets too meta. So. Are we going to learn to code for the Arduino? Um, can you lower that just a little bit so I can just get that? Um, it depends. This is a very we are we are not in this program. We're teaching you a lot of things about circuitry and construction, but we will not be teaching the actual code to the Arduino, like what's actually coding the photo sensor. The, uh, the PA, so we're, we're not actually teaching that code. But, but if you want to learn a specific code or if you want your badge or wearable to do something specifically in your circuit, hit us up in the Rocket Chat. We have very, very exceptional and great specialists who can help you maybe give you a code to do what it is you are looking for to do. But that being said, we are not actually teaching you how to code the Arduino. Unfortunately, that would take a lot of time and a lot of resources that at the at the time being is just wasn't possible. So we are not teaching code. But the, does that the, does that does does that mean you can't Google how to do a specific code on your own? No, we're not saying the buck stops here. This is all you could do with an Arduino. No, there are a bunch of free resources online that will help you create the code you are looking for. But again, see us at Rocket Chat first. Like say you want your lights just to stay on and off. Like there's there's a bunch of uh, possibilities you could do with this Arduino. So if you want a specific code, we will assist you just again, go to Rocket Chat, use that as a tool. We'll be on Rocket Chat from 10:30 to 4:45 Monday through I believe Thursday or Friday. Is it Friday? I believe it's Friday. Um, I might be wrong, but I believe it's uh, Friday. So we'll be on. I'll be on. Hit up Yamitron. You know, I'm like, hey, Yamit, blah, blah, blah. I want, you know, my lightsaber. Help me out. I, I got some ideas. You know, 
Show me that zip tie again. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> okay, uh, that's it for me. This has been the first inaugural Beam stream. Shout out to everyone who put this together. Um, thank you, chat, for asking really good questions, keeping it fun, keeping it light. And again, we'll be here Mondays and Wednesdays, 1 to 1.30. Wednesdays is going to be with a special host, Kayla, and a guest specialist showing you really like uh, tips and trips, on, uh, tip, tips and tricks on how to make like certain things. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I want to make my hand look like a, I don't know, like a gauntlet, like a Thanos. Gauntlet. So w w this is where you can really use the chat and ask questions about like maybe about a code or something or how to make a specific structure or how to like maybe latch something or maybe if you want to make a certain wearable. So Wednesdays will be for your inspiration. Mondays will be kind of like a check-in and a workflow type of thing of like, all right, this week is this how is this is what you should be working on. If you're not, that's fine. And also like uploading pictures, GIFs, everything, like ideas. We want it all. Um, thank you so much. My name is Yamatron here at the Beam Stream Station. This has been awesome. I'm going to get some iced coffee because I am sweating like the Dickens. Thank you for tuning in. I'm out. Tune in Wednesday, Rocket Chat. I want to see some fun. Be excellent,